Ladies and gents, welcome to TFI and another episode of Mint Idea, mate. And this one actually is a mint idea because this one has drove me nuts for ages. And I never actually thought of it. It's one of those things which drives you crackers, but you never think of a solution for this one. You just kind of put up with it and assume it's the way it is. So it's prioritized drawn lines rather than projected geometry lines. Why is this not a thing, right? So prioritized drawn lines rather than the projected geometry lines when dimensioning and constraining in sketch mode. The problem occurs... Occurs when a line sits upon a projected line and forcing you to right click and selecting other every time. Uh, so basically, right, when you head over to a, a model, right, I'll just try and mock up a, a typical scenario, which is not going to behave the most annoying right now. It's not going to show how annoying this can be because this won't be a very busy sketch. But when you do a sketch, right, you get your projected edges around there and then you do your bit rectangle like this. So you've now got two lines on top of each other here. And when you click dimension, Sometimes when you hover over that line, it's picking up the projected geometry line rather than the rectangle. So you've just you've got to sort of wiggle the mouse around to try and get the actual rectangle line, which just one slip of the mouse, just one millimeter of movement, and it selects the projected geometry line, which is really annoying because Autodesk, don't know about you like, right? Just just saying. Just saying. Just putting it out there. Just putting it out there for some feels, man. Just for some feels. I've never, ever, ever felt the need to put a dimension on projected geometry. Do you know why? Because you can't freaking do it, man. You can't put a dimension on projected geometry. It's not a thing. Yeah, you can do a driven dimension, but nobody does that ever. Very rarely ever. You'd be what you're wanting to put a dimension on the actual right. So just to say, either give us an op options. Options are good. I like options. Options are a good thing. Options are the future. Just give us an option in sketch mode or something like that. In the application options, something like that, right? In sketch mode. Disable projected geometry from the general dimension tool. Something like that. Because I don't want to be able to click. Uh, well, actually, having said that, that might be a bad idea. Now that I think about it, because you might want to dimension two projected geometry. But, but I don't know, just... Right, I, I digress. Right, I've kind of went off topic there. Don't disable that, because that would be a bad idea. <laughs> that would be a bad idea. Just just do what the, what the original post is saying and prioritise the bloody rectangle. Because, yeah, if you disable projected geometry, then you might have a bad time, you know, dimensioning to a projected geometry line. You, you don't want to do that. So in all seriousness, uh, it would be best if it was just prioritizing that line over the projected geometry. Like, kind of like a draw order thing. Get the draw order. Get your draw order sorted out, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. But it's a great idea. I actually really do like that one. I, f I find this one to be extremely useful. It's only got 19 votes. So go over, hit the thumbs up, create your account, log in, thumb it up. And let's get some port going for these great ideas because that one really is a good idea. This guy is obviously a new user, uh, new new to the forum, and uh, he's must have a, he's got 53 kudos. 20 of it is this idea here, so he's a new user, but he's obviously put in a couple of good ideas. If you want, hit up his account, go see what his other ideas are if he's got some. And uh, whilst you're there, have a dig around, see what else is there, and tune in next time for Mint Idea Mate because it was it was Mint Idea Mate. Good for you. Thumbs up. Let's get this one cracking. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.